So in this video, we're going to demonstrate how to map a network drive. So to map a network drive on PC2, let's just see. Okay, in PC2, I've already got a map network drive. So let's see how I have created this. So I'm going to go to PC1. On PC1 now, so I've got my two virtual computers here. On PC1, I'm going to go to the File Explorer and I create on the C drive a shared folder. Not on the C drive, they said on your parity drive. Okay, so that drive that you have created, on that drive, you're going to create a folder called Collaboration. So since I've already got collaboration, I'm going to create a new one called collaboration two. So a new folder collab two. Once I've created that folder, I need to share it. So I right click on it and then I go to properties, sharing, and I click on share. And then I click on share again. And then it gives me now a location as to where that shared folder is. Okay, so I'm going to say done. And I'm going to go to the properties of this folder now. And there's the path to get to this folder, network path. So I'm going to copy this network path. Control, hold it down, press the letter C to copy the path. And then I'm going to go to PC1, sorry, PC2, and I'm going to go to my network. I'm going to right click on the network on the left hand side in the file explorer. And then you can see it gives me the option to map a network drive. So I click on map network drive. I press control and then hold it down, press the letter B to paste. There's the path that I've typed in there. And then I choose the drive letter. Since I've already chosen M, I'm going to use this one as Z. And then I'm going to click on finish. Once I've done that, you'll see there's my map network drive that has been created, okay? Here it is showing me that Colab2 is mapped to the drive letter Z. So that's the process of creating a mapped network drive. Let me stop this recording.